Welcome everyone. If your iPhone is unavailable to regain full access, you have two options. The first option is to keep on guessing passcodes and hope you remember it. If you genuinely cannot remember your passcode, you see iPhone unavailable, then the second solution is we will have to do a full factory data reset. If you have backups on iCloud or on a computer, we can restore those. So most, if not all of your data will be retained. The first way to reset the iPhone is this. So we need to unavailable the device or disable the device until we see try again in 15 minutes. So if you see try again in one or five minute, we need to wait until we can enter a passcode again and we'll enter another passcode incorrectly. We may need to wait five minutes now, so I'm going to cut. So now let's disable the device again. And uh, once you see try again in 15 minutes, we have the erase iPhone option. And so if we were to tap on this, tap on erase again, you just need to enter in the password for your Apple ID. And uh, once you enter this, the iPhone will erase. It will be in a factory default like it was a new iPhone and you'd want to restore from a backup which you have on the computer or from iCloud. Now, if it says try again in 15 minutes or it's even higher than 15 minutes, then what we need to do is we need to erase the iPhone using iTunes on the computer. So we need to connect the iPhone to the computer. I'm going to do that one now. Once the device is connected, if you don't have a home button, press and hold power and volume down until we see this menu. So we should see a slider power off menu. There we go. So it took two attempts there. If you do have a home button, just press and hold the power button until you see this menu. And now we're going to slide the power off like this. And again, just make sure the charger was connected before you power off. So if you have iPhone 8 or newer, okay, so iPhone 8 or any newer device, once the phone is off, we're going to press and hold the power button and we're not going to release. Okay, so we're just going to keep the power button held down. Now, if you have a home button iPhone, you would press and hold both the power and home button together and once you saw the apple logo you would release of the power button but keep on holding down the home button if you have iphone 7 or 7 plus or ipod 7 only you'd press power and volume down instead and when you saw the apple logo you'd release of the power button but keep on holding volume down if you still are having issues and you can't get to this screen and it's booting up your iPhone, then you will need to look up how to enter recovery mode. So we can see this is the recovery screen. You may see an iTunes logo or computer logo. And so we can now proceed from the computer itself. On the computer, you're going to open the Finder app if you have a Mac or iTunes on the Windows and you should see your iPhone and so what we need to do is we need to click on the restore iPhone button once this is complete and it will take a couple of hours your iPhone will be back on the setup screen and you can set it up as new with that being said if you'd like to help support the channel please do check the description bye bye